I accidentally became a meme, and this is that story. My name is Nick Frazier, but you may know me from the Why the F*** You Lying Meme. This all started in the year 2015. I feel like I'm about to tell a story like from a book. <laughs> I was driving to 7-Eleven to get some donuts and gummy bears. Which shout out to 7-Eleven, they got the best gummy bears, just in case y'all needed to know that. And as I was driving, I had the Bluetooth of my iPhone connected to the car, and then comes on Too Close by Next. So when the song starts to play, you know, this is one of my favorite songs, and I start singing it. Baby, why are you crying? I get so excited. It's not crying, it's grinding. Oh, see? I didn't even know that. Baby, when you're grinding, Wow, that's crazy. After all these years, nobody told me this whole time I'm saying crying. You should actually leave that in. Can we put that in? So I'm driving, I'm singing, I'm singing, I'm singing. I said, wait a minute. I just heard myself saying lying instead of anything else. And then suddenly, you know, I just started remembering there's this kid that I went to high school with. You know, I'm not gonna disclose the information, but there's this kid I went to high school with that he used to lie about things he had, cars, clothes that people knew he didn't have, but he just kept lying just to form conversation with us. We used to call him out like, why are you lying about that? Like, why? Bro, if you're watching this and you know that I'm talking about you, you don't have to lie, bro. You was cool enough, come on. And I felt like me saying the song kind of like, those memories just triggered in my head. That's why it just came out that way. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. I did all of that in the car while I was driving. So I'm driving as if this is a song that's already out. So as I'm doing that, I'm like, oh yeah, it's over. The next day I woke up early and got a haircut. I got the part in my hair, which I don't have right now. Came back home and then I was looking through my closet for a shirt that, you know, screamed 90s R&B music video type. That's actually my brother's shirt. And he was never able to wear that shirt again after that day. The location was my backyard. I called my brother, I'm like, yo, can you come outside real quick? I wanna film something. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? I didn't plan the moves. I was really just feeling it. Like, you know, like in those old 90s R&B videos where it's just like a bop, it just took over my body. That toilet was actually a new toilet that my mother bought and it didn't work when we installed it into the house. So we just put it outside and left it on the side. Probably for a few months before I did what I did with it. And then ever since it just stayed there, I just realized this is a historical artifact so we can't really get rid of this. I sat in the darkness for about two hours maybe. Edited the sound, the volume. So once I put it out, I left my phone alone, you know. The next day, my notifications were going so crazy from Vine that I had to get a new phone because my phone was overheating. And then everything just started circulating. It was on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, Guardian, BuzzFeed, Complex, BET, Rolling Stone. Everywhere you could possibly think of, it was on it. And as I'm scrolling through my Instagram, I'm seeing my face over and over and over and over and over again. I'm just like, wait, whoa, what's going on right now? There was a lot of people like, wow, this is me. I know somebody like this. They were tagging certain people, this is you. It didn't really hit me until somebody Why sent me a video lying? of Why it being played lying? on the radio. I knew it was gonna be something, but I didn't think that it would hit the way that it did and influence people the way that it did. I actually did meet the original creators next. I was on an episode of Uncommon Sense by Charlemagne. They had me out there with him and we was both, you know, singing and dancing with it. So it was a very full circle moment. That was, that was pretty dope that they did that. I never really kept in touch with the kid from high school. I actually do have a message for him. I hope whatever it is that you're doing in life right now, you just decided, you know, the stories is not really worth it. The folk tales are not really worth it. You know, just, just be yourself. Just talk regularly. If you got it, you got it. If you don't got it, you don't got it. Just calm. Just stop lying.